Hey, this is how to beat white winds of the new world. I solo it in 10 minutes. It's how you get the rainbow pigment and the commission armor and the new charms. There's a couple ideas out there on how you get this quest. The first one is you have to capture every monster. I did not capture every monster. The other one is beat every optional quest. I had every optional quest beat and I still didn't get this mission. The last thing I did before I got this mission was complete the field guide and I got a trophy for it. I know I either completed the field guide or I got to hunter rank 100 and it just gave it to me. It's either one of those two things. Uh, what you could do is play until your fingers bleed and you'll definitely unlock it by then. That's definitely what I would do. So for just a couple minutes I'm gonna go over my setup and how to make this quest really easy. So what you could do before watching this is refer to my guide on how to never die. I go through a good build that'll keep you alive pretty much no matter what and make these monsters seem like they're low rank. So we're killing all these guys no more than two at a time and it should be easy. So if you're hunter rank 100 and you talk to this guy again you'll get another quest that's even harder. I think it's the last quest in the game and that is to kill a Kushaladora, a Teostra, and a Nergigante on the same mission. I just beat it and I killed each one in about 5 minutes so I'm going to do a guide for that one next. So real quick I'm going to tell you guys how I get ready for this quest. So we're going to pick the weapon with the most raw damage. You can pick pretty much any element because as long as it has the most raw damage. Uh, I've got a Blessing Charm 3 and I've got the Vitality and Rocksteady Mantle. So for armor I've got an eye patch because eye patch is the best and I've got full Teostra because it gives you the most all-around benefits. Uh, for decorations you just really need vitality. Vitality not to die always. I also have defense because I'd go with a resistance but uh, there's too many to choose from so I'm just going with defense this time. If you happen to get four you get a little bonus to all resistance and that is really good on a quest like this. So the stats I have are full Teostra, you don't have to sharpen, and also I have defense boost, and I've got health boost, that's important. I also have weakness exploit, because my crits will be 50% pretty much all the time, divine blessing will keep me alive, and the others are kind of good, are useless, but the overall build is really good. Uh, for food, just go defensive and with a max potion you're gonna have 200 HP. That's the way it works here in the new world. So the most important items you need in this whole fight is Mega Demon Drug, Mega Armor Skin, Demon Pill, and Adamant Pill. The uh, Demon Drug and Armor Skin it won't wear off so you can just use it now. So the items you need are definitely all the potions that there are, Max Potion, Ancient Potion, all that and flash bombs and flash bugs. You need all the flash bugs and you need traps. As many traps as you want to take. So I use flash fly cage. It has the most utility and I use a paralyzed weapon because each monster will get paralyzed uh, one time. Uh, you'll see later every monster gets messed up by my palico. Each one. So here's the best tip. Use a pill every time a monster spawns. It's the best thing you can do. So if you use all this stuff, you're going to have really high stats this whole entire fight. That's really important. So the first thing you want to do for any arena is jump on the monster's back. You can always reach it pretty much. Just be nice. And hopefully you'll get on its back. Just hit triangle and only hit R2 if your stamina bar is going down. So jumping on the back is good because it sets you up for your best combo. Uh, you should really practice your best combo because it's, you're going to be able to do it a lot. Your palico, your flash bombs. This is my best combo. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, definitely a lot. So to start off fighting, you have a couple options. You definitely have the rocks. You want to use them as early as possible. You could put a trap down under the rocks or you could just time it. But it's important because you get free hits 
You can probably do two, three combos easily with the rocks. So when you run out of tricks and traps and whatnot, the best thing you can do is just wildly swing at the monster because you can't die. You just want to keep your DPS up. Just swing it wherever you can hit it. And also remember this. If you build the fence, you don't have to worry about dying. A good defense is the best offense. It'll just free you up to just keep attacking and not worrying about anything. Even when you get hit five times in a row, you can just be like, Well, I got five more hits. So the way to make this game easy is just to use flash bombs. If you bring 13 it should be easy. You can use like 3 every monster at least. If a monster is acting too crazy just flash bomb it and it will be less crazy. So the Odo Garon spawned and that's a good thing. Uh, when two monsters are out, it's called easy mode. So when two monsters spawn, you just want to swing at whatever you can reach. Whatever's the most open, whatever's stunned or whatever, just go for that one. Uh, the traps and flash bombs are the most important now because it'll give you the most openings. See, so while one monster is paralyzed by my cat, I'll destroy the other one. Uh, but remember what your main target is. The first one spawn is the first one you kill, if you can. Yeah, don't forget about your Rocksteady Mantle. Rocksteady Mantle is called Time to Go Hard on the Streets Mantle. Yeah, you can't die no matter what. Yeah, we already did a lot, and no matter what, one of these monsters has gone down. Hey, it's dead. Now it's just me and the crack dog. So we're just trying to burn this guy down. We're doing a good job. We have our pills popped. And we killed it. So my cat comes in clutch. My cat is definitely the MVP of this whole fight by far. The Yodo Garon is pretty hard, but if you just run at him, he's pretty easy. If you hit him, you'll hurt him. So it doesn't matter if you're slow with the Odo Garon, you'll have way enough time to kill him before the Diablo spawns. Just, just try to tag him. Like if you have defense, if you build defense, you just hit him, he'll go down eventually. So this guy's kind of annoying, so remember the rule. If a monster's too crazy, just flash bomb him and it'll be less crazy. Great sword's the best weapon, don't forget it. And I got the tail. Man, the wide swing is awesome, especially when your sword's glowing. So we hit him pretty good. I'm breaking the tail. I'm breaking everything. He's an easy target. He's all weak all over. Anybody else getting bored? We, we need to end this fight. Alright, alright. So I'm getting kind of bored. This guy's getting really annoying. Yep, really, really annoying. And now I'm stunned. 
So I'm pissed off and I'm going to heal up and kill this guy right now. Alright, that's it. Time for my finishing move! Ah! See, look. And it was just that easy. See, now I can heal up because the crack dog is in hell now. Thank you, Crack Dog, for your parts. I will use them to kill more of your kind. So after we kill him, you may or may not have time for a break. I'm not sure, because I killed him too fast. But uh, just craft and do what you gotta do. So now it's the next part, you gotta kill this Diablos. So I'm ready. I was gonna block, but I got stunned. See, look, my cat's the MVP. Remember, flash fly cage is your go to. So, listen, you can aim for this guy's head or you can aim for his tail, but the body and legs, he has almost no countermeasure for that. So, only hit the head if he's doing nothing, but just hit the body at all other times. Now remember, dying is not an issue if you build defense. Oh, I almost forgot my pills. I'm a pill popper now. Pills keep you strong, boys and girls, don't forget. Go in your mom's and dad's medicine cabinets and have a ball. Remember, you cannot die. So I'm just trying to use this Dragonator because now's a good time. If there were two, it would be a better time. But I'm getting antsy. So I'm looking at the Dragonator and trying to lead him over here. But this guy keeps trolling me. I want to see if I can hit him with both of the spikes. But then my Palico comes in clutch. MVP. Now I finally get to use the Dragonator. Just kidding. So if there's one thing I learned from Nike, it's just do it. So I do. I'm gonna only need one pill for the Rathalos. This guy's scream is annoying. So I was messing around a lot, but really just use a Dragonator and just keep attacking this guy. I was messing around a lot. So we're getting some nice hits. Just uh, keep going for the body and get some nice hits here. That's good damage. if you build defense you can just not worry about attacking him when he goes in the ground just always attack so I'm getting bored so here's one more round of me going for the body is that a Rathalos I hear? It is Rathalos. Time for easy mode. Oh, he got caught in the trap. It'll be the best time to attack. Or not. So I'm just messing around still. But remember the golden rule. Flash and hack. So we did a lot of damage to this guy, I just wanted to die. I'm not worried about getting hit, I got a vitality mantle, so I'm gonna just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. And he's dead. 
but there is no time for a eulogy. It's now time to kill the Rathalos. That's why we bought Dragon, because we're gonna destroy this guy. Really, 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 really bad. So in preparation, we're gonna pop our pills. And we're gonna go for the tail. The tail only takes about five, six hundred points of damage. Ooh, nice hit. Another nice hit. Looks like the gods are on our side and the wind's at our backs. The air is the worst thing you could have done. Yeah, this game's over. Flash bombs, GG. Who tripped him? Must have been the cat. Anyway, these headshots are not looking good for him. And the cat with the clutch paralyzed? Things are really, really not looking good for him now. Uh, am I still gonna get this hit? Yeah. Thank you, cat. Yeah, one of the best skills you can have is crafting on the fly and uh, not accidentally sharpening by actually making flash bombs and not getting hit by tails while you're doing it. So we did so much damage earlier that I'm feeling really lucky. Kinda lucky. Actually, not really lucky at all. I'm sorry, Rathalos. You knew what would happen if you went in the air. You will have to suffer for your mistakes. Ooh, it looked like it hurt. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. And boom goes the dynamite. So that was kind of fast. It seemed long, but it was fast. Don't forget about the rock party in celebration. Yay! And don't forget about the bad manners. You always gotta use bad manners. If you don't BM, it's like you didn't win. Uh, shout out to my Palico MVP. You were good, buddy. So we beat that mission in like 10 minutes it says. So beating this mission, it gives you a research commission whatever ticket, whatever it's called. And you can unlock the commission gear. Uh, you can also unlock 5 uh, unique charms that you only get after you beat this mission. So after this I'm going to show you the aftermath of what happens after you beat this mission. So stay tuned. So one of the best rewards from this mission is the rainbow pigment and that makes you change colors constantly. That's worth it. So we come back here and I'm going to show you some aftermath of what happens after you beat the mission. So pretty much you talk to this guy and you find out that every person in the whole entire town loves you so much. The commissioner just told me he loved me. Pretty much every single character you can go talk to them and they love you. I'm going up here to my handler girl, and what do you know? She she also loves me. Yeah, she's really uh, laying it on thick here. Hey, partner. What up, girl? Yeah, but long story short, everybody loves you. Right. She agrees. Uh, but you can come over here, even the meowscular chef, he loves you. Yep. The feels is real. Uh, you can even come down here. You can see the huntsman. He loves you. Uh, you can even come over here to this guy who has his sword. I was trying to get the whole game but can never get it. And you can see that yes he too. He loves you too. 
So after you talk to this guy and everybody in the town, I'm going to show you a secret, secret passageway that nobody knows about except for me. You got to go in the blacksmith, you got to come all the way up here. You got to look around and be like, I've never been up here before. And there's more stairs. There's an entrance to the left, that's the gathering hub. But you didn't know that. And you can go up here to the top of this cliff. Who's up here? Oh, who is that? I was wondering where this guy's been the whole game. The Admiral. And as you can see here, the Admiral loves me too. So it took a lot of work to get here, as you can imagine. So what you can do is just sit here and uh, admire the scenery, admire the view and reminisce. Beautiful. So after you talk to all the people here, you can actually go to the research base and talk to this girl. She loves you too, and you definitely want her to love you because she's hot. So that is the video. Thanks for getting this far. Next I have uh, I have where you kill three tempered elder dragons in one fight in the elders recess. I kill them all, kill them in about five minutes each. And uh, I promise that video will be even better than this one. So please like this video, comment, I respond to any comments. Please subscribe, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, that's my goal. And share this video if you think somebody else will like it. But uh, thanks for watching, for real. And I'll see you next time.